Hello and welcome to Thursday and this is something a little bit different but uh, tonight's the beautiful night and I brought myself here to one of my favorite uh, places in certainly all of Lethbridge so I thought I'd just try something a little bit different tonight. So today was quite a busy day and right now it's just about 9 o'clock and I figured it was time to kind of take a break away from studying and from the computer and I thought I'd just take a little walk and tour around here at the park that's just over on the west side of Lethbridge and like I said it is one of my f probably favorite places to go in Lethbridge so I thought I'd just spend a little bit of time here reflecting on my day and the things that I've done. It's Thursday so we had both of our classes today both our morning and our afternoon class and I did sleep in just a little bit today but I mean I certainly made it to class on time and that's one of the benefits of living and sleeping right on campus it's not uh, too difficult to get up and have a shower and get ready to go in about half an hour so um, although I slept in a little bit I certainly wasn't late for class and our class this morning was a little bit more interactive and a little bit more engaging than anything that I've actually um, experienced so far um, over the last four days and so that was really encouraging I think that uh, yesterday was sort of a low point for that and um, sometimes if you have nothing really positive to say it's best to say nothing than to say something that you'll regret so um, there was a little bit of a gloss over yesterday but um, Today I think that I can adequately and probably appropriately discuss sort of the, uh, the things that we did today. I don't believe it was a change in content or delivery. I think it was just an overall change in my attitude today that uh, kind of helped me get through the day and helped me try and make a, a clear and understood connection to the material that we were covering and reading and rereading in class. I think I've come to a slightly better understanding of why it is that we're doing things that we're doing and reading things that we're reading. Um, I was looking for more of an explicit statement from the prof and I don't think I got that so I think that I had to find the meaning for myself and in conversation with my classmates I think that's where I came to the realization that it is important for us to examine our own thoughts and ideas and our own inherent biases so we can kind of unpack them and understand them in a better way and make sure that we're very conscious and very critical in the way that we're thinking and the way that we approach education. If that had been listed more clearly on the course outline, it probably would have saved me a headache over the last five days. Then again, would I have understood it the same if I hadn't have come to the realization on my own? I think one of the most important differences for me today was the actual stated connection uh, to something that was kind of concrete in my mind. So the stated connection between ideologies and theories and the actual curriculum, the actual documents and practices that I'm involved in. And I think it was that really clear, concrete um, connections that I'd been missing and that I needed. So hopefully now that that's what I found and I can latch on to that, um, I can really try and make the best of the next, uh, next week in a bit. I've always loved bridges, the look and the design. I don't know if it's anything metaphorical or metaphysical. Just the structure and the connection and the reflection. these bridges from this park in particular. I know I have a series of black and white pictures I took one day.
In our afternoon class, we watched and participated in three different presentations from members of our group. There was some really interesting and active discussion, and I'm glad that we were able to continue that from our conversation that we started on Tuesday. And we'll look again to meeting with that group next week while we continue our presentations. I lived in Lethbridge for five years. I never lived more than two blocks from this lake. How many times did I visit? How many times did I slowly walk around the entire perimeter? How many times did I stop and listen to the birds? Stop and reflect? Write in my journal? Take pictures? Far too few. However, in five years, I never recall it being this still, this quiet, and yet this alive. As the sun continues to set, I wish I had have started this adventure just a little bit sooner. Get a little bit more sunlight in. But I don't regret coming here and sharing this space with you. Although I find I'm often so at peace here that I forget this space is for everyone because it seems so natural and so perfect for me.